There is news tonight about Yasser Arafat, the Palestinian leader who died mysteriously about a decade ago. Evidence has emerged he may have been poisoned, and though it's not conclusive, it has reopened old wounds. From the moment the world learned of Arafat's death, there were suspicions he was assassinated. Now, for the first time, there's evidence the former Palestinian leader was poisoned. We are so angry and about, we consider that it's crime. It's a political crime. Arafat's widow, Suha, says she's always believed he was murdered. When traces of polonium turned up on Arafat's clothing last year, she demanded his corpse be exhumed. A team of Swiss scientists collected samples from Arafat's ribs, hips, and decaying organs. They found unexpected high activity of polonium that moderately supports the proposition that the death was the consequence of poisoning with polonium-210. Yasser Arafat was poisoned. Al Jazeera asked this forensic scientist to interpret the report. This is beyond any doubt, in my opinion, that it was polonium that caused the death of Yasser Arafat. Arafat became ill unexpectedly in 2004 and passed away just four weeks later. At the time, doctors declared he died of a stroke. A man with many enemies, the Israeli government has been accused of Arafat's death, but has always denied involvement. Experts are predicting a backlash to the findings. So there will be violent reaction, you know, to because of the report and against Israel. As the investigation into his suspected murder continues, for Arafat's family, these findings are a painful reminder. It's so hard. We are doing our sorrow again, you know. We are mourning him uh, again. Family and supporters say they know what killed him. Now they want to know who. Robin Stickley, Global News, Washington.